from the nation's capital. I'm Tamara Sherpa, and in this segment, we're with Sharon Savoy, who is an icon in the world of theater arts and the exhibition field of dance. She won her first world exhibition title at Madison Square Garden, and 20 years later ended her competitive career by winning with all first place votes at the 2004 World Exhibition Dance Championships. She has performed in Hollywood movies, on the Miss America pageant, at the Kennedy Center, and at the Sydney Olympics. Her book titled Ballroom, Obsession and Passion in the World of Competitive Dance will be available at bookstores this fall. Sharon, welcome. Thank you. So we're continuing our discussion here about your your championship career yes. and what sustained you. The longevity of your career was enhanced by gyrotonic uh, uh, exercises. Absolutely. Uh, it wasn't even called gyrotonic exercises then. I was in a ballet studio and the lady who was the ballet teacher, her name was Jetta, she came to us after the class and said, girls, you are not using these. And she stripped down her leotard and I looked at her stomach and I had never seen stomach and abs and intercostal muscles like this. And she wasn't just like gripping down, you know, like a bodybuilder. She was actually able to still flow and have mobility. So it was so interesting to me. Anyway, I started training with her on the side and then eventually she brought me to a studio that had just started where Julia Horvath, who is the founder, was starting to make his first machines. And, and about what time was this? What time? Ah, uh, let's see. 19 85? 85? Yes. So he had just made his very first machine and we were kind of his guinea pigs because uh, he was experimenting too and uh, used a couple of us dancers at the very beginning. We would be there for hours experimenting on how to make our bodies not only more flexible but strong. So a dancer wants to have all the agility possible but all the strength possible in that same motion. And uh, now gyrotonics have been developed into a system and it, the machines have kind of changed. They first were on the floor and then they moved to be a bench level. So, you know, you can sit on it comfortably on the floor. It's not as convenient for most people. And it's accessible to a wide range of people with a wide, wide range of needs. Anything from your superior athlete who's looking to, you know, be the best ice skater or be an Olympic champion runner to the person who wants to have better posture and get out of bed without back pain, to the person who's a weekend golfer and wants a better back, you know, stroke swing on his tennis game or his golf swing. So there's a wide variety of application. It's a fascinating system. I really think he was a genius. And I feel fortunate to have, you know, really learned from the master 25 years ago. So this actually sustained your career? Oh, without question. Because? Because. It's like oiling your joints, like you oil your car. You have to go every 2,000 miles and you're supposed to put oil in it, right? Well, the action of gyrotonic exercise is done with circular motion. Most exercise, when you think of gym equipment, is done linear. We do our arms, then we do our triceps, then we do our legs, and then we do our abs. First of all, the gyrotonic exercises are integrated. So your ab and your core work are incorporated into every segment that you're doing. So it sounds like we've been missing some things in gyrotonics. Or, or really has a solution here that most folks may not know about. Well, oh, absolutely. It's new to the, you know, the late person's world, yes. But the elite athletes, like, you know, a lot of dancers did it, and a lot of ice skaters about 25 years ago. It just started to seep into those kind of artsy fields where your line was important and your flexibility. But, you know, whether you're rock climbing and you want to reach one, you know, degree higher, or when you have a, uh, you know, a tennis racket and you want to get your serve better from back here or a golf swing, you need not only range strength, of motion. but range of motion and flexibility. So the system is fascinating. As again, I was saying, in the gym, you're doing linear motion. This is circular based. And that's how our joints move. They don't move in and out and up and down. They move in rotation. So the machine is like a bench. You sit on it and there's these two discs and it allows your spine to articulate in motions that kind of, well, some people look like cat backs in yoga, but it's undulating the spine into arch and curl and twisting motions and spiral actions. Same thing for the legs. Big range. Does it require the equipment or is it a combination of both, which you're going to talk more about, I'm well, sure? Well, 
he did start with something called gyrokinesis and so you can do that in a chair it's a little harder for people to feel i think the machine would be a better place for people to start if they were interested because the resistance of the machine gives you that feedback that contact and it kind of lets you have muscle that, memory yeah and that sensory system oh yes i'm arching against this i'm pushing against this i'm twisting then you can take it and do it on your own and do it you know at your lunch hour when you need a break from hunching over your computer yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know probably I think it's probably the most interesting um, ingenious forms of exercise that I've ever seen applied to the spine we all we don't look up anymore we don't arch back anymore so why aren't more chiropractors fascinated I, by this work well anybody who knows me sends me people <laughs> who are acupuncturists who are chiropractors who are rolfers it's gone it's stepped into it's that community there. but it's not mainstream yet you know Pilates it took a while for Pilates to become mainstream same with this so uh, it's really uh, something that all people should give it a chance to try because it will increase whatever they do it make it more easy to do you know, no matter what your sport is, uh, your hamstrings touching your toes, people are always complaining about lower back. There's so many issues with lower back with Americans. So, What would cause, and perhaps it's from your point of view, what caused sure. you to go, I'm sure you've tried many, many forms I did. over your, your uh, championship career. And So what How was the hitch it? for Why? you? Oh, well, uh, easy answer. I did try many things. I was having a lot of back pain. I have scoliosis. And it was affecting. As a professional dancer. Um, more people have it than you think. And <laughs> the problem was, is my dancing required that I do stuff to such an extreme. Uh, not just split, but over split and over back bend and over contort to be able to do something effortlessly in the air. In my search to find something to cure my back pain, I tried a multitude of things. You know, strengthening wasn't right. Just flexibility wasn't right. It was the combination of moving the spine in the coordination of both those applications at once. But you can't get any other way. I have never experienced any other way. No, no, I have not. And I just got on the machine and went, oh, nirvana. And I immediately felt better in my back. And the interesting thing was um, I said to Julia, oh, Julia, I'm going on tour. What am I going to do without this equipment? I was in a panic. And he tells this in his own video because prior to my request, he had not thought of just making machines. He was just going to open a few studios here and there. And when I asked him, oh, will you make me a machine just for myself, he thought, hmm. And that started his whole process of making machines and having other people basically opening gyrotonic studios across the nation and actually across the world now. So you are an instructor. Tell us about yes. the range of people that you work with and some of your success stories. Certainly. I work in McLean, Virginia at uh, a studio called The Pilates Room, and it's a very nice studio. And I have people who are 10 years old up to 80, and of course they all have different needs, and we tailor their you know, workout to that need. Uh, a lot of my people are basically your weekend athletes, and they're in their 40s, and they still want to do their boot camp and their marathon or their triathlon and then they come in kind of achy and cripply to me and okay fix me up Sharon make me feel better and what the gyrotonic exercises do is it stretches them back out it decompresses their joint so all that pounding they did is doing that reversal and in doing so it has an anti-aging anti-injury effect because you're lengthening between your bones, you're lengthening your ligaments between your joints and your limbs. So you don't, you know, when we start, even if you think about a person in their daily life, nine to five, they're over here, even after nine to five, in your car, with groceries, carrying a child. We never do 50% of arching back. So even just taking an hour several times a week to twist more, open our spines, arch more, and the wonderful thing about the pulley system, it has the machine, as I explained, has a bench and then two circular discs that you rotate and use your spine on in a lot of, you know, a multitude of exercise. And then there's a pulley system behind you. And for instance, for the golfers, they love this. It's actually called the golfer's uh, move. You put your hand in a strap and there's just a minimal amount of weight. But it's lifting you up as if you were, you know, Mary Poppins with an umbrella. Then from that move, you take a spiral and twist around with the disc. So what is that giving you, that wonderful rotation that golfers need? Because the more they can rotate, 
the more they can whack that ball farther, and that's their goal, and that's why they're in the studio. So whether you're a tennis player, a runner for your hamstrings, or, or just, you know, somebody with back pain, or, or somebody who wants to feel good in their bones when they wake up in the morning. So this device is uh, also used extensively for Olympians and uh, in There's Europe. There's a wonderful program. Uh, Julia, who is the founder of this and the creator of the gyrotonic system, has a brother named Paul who lives in Germany. And I find their application phenomenal. Not only are Olympic athletes attending the facility, but they have people who are in wheelchairs because they made it like a bench so someone can roll up and do the disc work and do the pulley work and feel that wonderful feeling that you get from moving your spine. And um, you know what the easiest way to describe gyrotonic, you know how good it feels to yawn? Yes. We all yawn when we get up. The entire process is like yawning and stretching and kind of getting out of your own confines of your own tightness. And it's just a marvelous feeling, that expanded breathing, that expanding range of motion. It's a pleasure to be in your own body after you do a gyrotonic session. As we're coming to a close, are there sure. other success stories from your clients? Yes, I would love to talk about my little ballet girl named Amelia. She came to me when she was 12 and she could barely touch her toes and she wanted to become a professional ballet dancer. And so within a short time, about a year, she's now doing full splits. And so now obviously she's an easier case because she's young and her bones are not set and it's easier. But that, plus a woman who had a frozen shoulder who felt like her arm was just becoming more incapacitated is now back to playing tennis. So, you know, we really have a wide range of application for everyone's need. And again, really, if you think about it as anti-aging and anti-injury, everyone should give it a try. So it's a call to folks to come forward and, and they may not have heard about this, Take but care there's of your some body. unique aspects to this that uh, gyrotonics that will really um, put them over the top. Absolutely. Well, Sharon, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate your time and thank you for joining us.